Are you guys pondering what I'm pondering? Yeah, but how are we gonna teach a pig how to break dance? Pinky and the brain. One is a genius and the other is insane. We always assumed that Brain was a genius and Pinky was just a dim-witted sidekick. But could it be the other way around? We're watching the show from Brain's point of view. And in his dark little rat brain, the world is just an evil place that needs to be dictated. According to this theory, Brain suffers from anxiety, but his narcissism leads him to believe that he's the perfect person or rodent to rule the world. Pinky is actually the genius. Don't believe me? Let's take a look at the basic story structure of any Pinky in the Brain episode. First, Brain makes a plan, and then Pinky makes an observation about a flaw in Brain's plan, but Brain ignores it. Pinky turns out to be right, and finally, Brain fails. A more specific example. In the second episode of the show, Brain builds a robotic suit to compete in a Jeopardy-type game show, but ends up losing because he didn't know the answer to a question that Pinky answered correctly. Also, in that same episode, we see that Pinky is able to read, and Brain is barely even able to write his own name. Even better evidence comes from the episode That Smarts, in which Brain uses a calculation to figure out exactly why his plans fail. At first, his machine comes up with a picture of Pinky, so then Brain creates a smart machine and turns Pinky into a genius. However, the new smart Pinky's personality doesn't change at all, which could be a clue to his hidden intelligence. Smart Pinky then finds an error in Brain's calculations and finds that the real reason Brain's plans always fail are actually just due to Brain himself. And actually, Pinky successfully gains control of the world and then hands it over to Brain, but then he messes it up. So how does this theory hold up? A lot of the time, Pinky sees the flaws in Brain's plans, and even though he blames Pinky for their backfiring, a lot of the times it's Brain's own fault when they fail. It's pretty clear that Brain is actually incompetent when it comes to being an evil genius. Has Pinky actually been hiding his smarts all along? Who knows? I have yet to find anything to disprove this theory. So on the plausibility meter, I give the Pinky and the Brain conspiracy four weird rodents out of five. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Cartoon Conspiracy. If you have anything that proves or disproves my debunking of this conspiracy, let me know in the comments. If you click over here, you can get a preview for next week's episode, but make sure you subscribe to Channel Frederator, and I'll see you guys next week. Yeah, but how are we gonna teach a robot to love? Yeah, but how are we gonna get an elephant to fly? Magic feather. Feather.